are many, so stick with us. First, the UN's nuclear watchdog says radiation levels at the site remain normal for now. But as it happened in real time, Ukrainian President Zelensky evoking memories of the world's worst nuclear disaster nearly <coughs> four decades ago. I'm addressing all Ukrainians, all Europeans, and everyone who knows the word Chernobyl, who knows many casualties were inflicted by the explosion on the nuclear plant. This was a global catastrophe, and Russia wants to repeat that, and is already repeating it, but six times bigger. Fire crews put out the blaze, but the danger is far from over because there is significant fighting that rages nearby. Meanwhile, the Russian onslaught against civilians rolls on. That video captures a terrifying moment in the northern city of Cherniv. It's a Russian airstrike in the middle of a street. Russian troops also hitting a school there, inflicting very heavy damage. The mayor saying the city has been under constant shelling for the past 24 hours. Meanwhile, Putin's forces press ahead, tightening the grip around southern cities and intensifying their assault. This drone video showing the sheer scale wow. of the devastation that Putin's army is leaving behind. That is worse than the, the, the damn Two million people have already fled their Oklahoma bombing. have been displaced within Ukraine. And looming over all of this, a 40-mile-long Russian military convoy massing still northwest of the capital city. That sets up a potential battle for the capital at some day soon. We have comprehensive coverage for you. Lawmaker Marian Zablotsky on <coughs> Ukraine's refusal to give in to Russia. Mark Meredith is at the Pentagon, but let's begin with Benjamin Hall. He is live in Kiev. Hi, Benjamin. Yeah, hi, Dana. And look, as you just outlined, there are a lot going on today, a lot of movements around this country. But the one we're watching really closely right now, with a lot of concern, uh, is Russia's takeover of this nuclear power station. And from what we gather, uh, it was very much targeted. Russia wanted to go of it, and they went in yesterday, <coughs> last night, with tanks, with shelling. Uh, surrounded it and took it over. One shell hit the facility. They fortunately did not hit one of the reactors. And there was a big blaze, smoke, plumes all over the place. That fortunately was uh, extinguished. And, but right now, it is in the hands of the Russians. Uh, this is brand new video that you're seeing right now from that assault yesterday. Um, uh, and there are reports now that Chechen fighters, some of the most brutal fighters that Vladimir Putin can call on, they are laying it with mines. International rules forbid attacks on nuclear facilities, and Russia has signed up to these. And yesterday, President Zelensky warned that perhaps, if something went wrong, this could dwarf Chernobyl. The Russian military must be stopped immediately. Shout out to your politicians. Ukraine is 15 power units. If there is an explosion, it will be the end of everything. End of Europe. This is the evacuation of Europe. Only immediate action by Europe can stop the Russian troops. Don't let Europe die from a disaster at a nuclear power plant. The head of the IAEA said no radioactive material.